Hi guys, it's me, it's me, it's MPD, and it's time for more Shadowrun Hong Kong. You guys probably know the drill by now, and talk to some dudes. I don't imagine people are going to have much to say, so I might just go straight on a mission after this. She's gone, underdog. I don't know where she ran off to, but she looked upset. She said something about friends in trouble, then left. By the time I could disconnect from Octopus, she was on her way out of town. She must have gone back to the sinking ship. I don't like the sound of that. You tell she tell you what went down there all those years ago? The mutiny? Yeah, she's been having bad dreams about the place ever since. Well, we better go get her, haven't we? Let's do it! I'm going to arrange transport to Hum Hum Bay. You can meet me at the docks when you're ready. Shit. Let's uh, let's talk to Rat to see if he's ready to go on his job. Raptor, is it time to strike? Any thoughts on the last run? Ah, betrayal! It never fails to sting, does it? Subject that I'm rather intimately familiar with, I'm afraid. Rewarding the data to Huang was the natural choice, and I commend you for making it. Dugath's death screams were the high point of my evening. All in all, a job well done. A tip of my hat to you, my friend. More questions, if you don't mind. Um, what do you think post-human future could mean? Freedom. The ultimate freedom to direct our own progress, to steer ourselves as people in whatever direction we wish. Consider, my friend, every aspect of Korshi was tailor-made for a purpose, dreamed up, designed and built for a singular guiding intellect. Alright, keep going. Now think of a circumstance surrounding your own birth, the building blocks that shaped you into the woman you are today. Your mother and father exchanged fluids. Sloppily, no doubt. <laughs> and with all mindless abandon that such biological imperatives entail. It might be the ugliest description of sex I've ever heard. Ugly perhaps but accurate. Sexual intercourse is an inarticulate process, a messy delivery mechanism for genetic material spurred on by hormones and base urges. An attempt to guide the process on a societal level gets branded eugenics and decried as monstrous for obvious reasons. But I digress. The point I was making was that the forces that shaped you and me, and anyone else you care to mention, were ultimately mindless ones. Bland, manipulative biological drives that led sperm and an egg to collide. Add in a roll of the dice and dash of Mendelian genetics and there you are. The natural process of evolution and sexual selection guide the development of our species through trial and error. Throw a few billion darts at the wall and see what sticks. In the future that I foresee, this process will be re reined in, guided by my own, by our own control and intellects. To co-opt and antiquate fate, the myth of intelligent design will become a reality, but we will be our own gods, reshaping ourselves as we see fit. Let me guess, you're a scientist, possibly mad, who is literally telling me that he wants to play God. How cliche is that? Look around you, underdog. Everything about the world that we inhabit bears the stamp of mess human tampering. From the food that we eat, to the ho homes that we live in, the air we breathe. Playing God is a meaningless term. All this time I've been playing human. We've been reshaping our em environment since time immemorial. All the time, all that I'm advocating is further refinement of the process. Step back for a moment and imagine a future in which we have fully integrated with machines. Really imagine this. There'll be no niche that we cannot fill. We can guide our own evolution, tailor ourselves to whatever environment we see fit. We will no longer be slaves to the selective process that have dictated our development since time immemorial. Do you want us to be robots? No, I suspect there will always be some biological components of meta-human life. A degree of randomness, the possibility of mutation. Those are good things, and even we could shed them entirely, I suspect that we shouldn't. What I desire is a truer fashion of man and machine. Modern cybernetic systems tend to be iterations on biological components that they replace. There are exceptions, of course. There is no analogue for the data jack in nature. But on the whole, our imagination has been depressingly limited on this regard. In the future that I foresee, we will abandon the restricted mentality and open our eyes to newer, more exciting possibilities. Bodies reshaped to thrive in deep ocean and the depths of space. Bodies inspired by nature, or the human imagination, or both. Bodies that can be used and shed and used again inhabited as they were as they fit. 
The timely realisation of such a future is what drives me forward. It is the case to which I have devoted my life, and thankfully it is inevitable. Assuming, of course, that we don't destroy ourselves first. So how does the thing work? There were three distinct elements to my approach. When these elements are all working in concert, prototypes that utilise the process display remarkable software repair capabilities. This may be a lengthy explanation. I can skim over if you please. I can break it down for you if you're genuinely interested. I just want the basics. Yes, fine, I'll give you the short version. first element in the process was a self-healing biomimetic skin. It's capable of self-repairing any superficial wounds that a drone might suffer, injuries that have damaged by the machine's underlying structure. The second element was an internal structure built with self-assembly materials and utilising redundant systems. Any damage that the skin could not heal would be repaired or replaced. The third and final element was a magical component that served to stave off entropy and render the first two systems self-perpetuating. You think of magic as a lubrication that kept the gears turning, an unfortunate but unnecessary concession. And this is technology we recovered on the Ares run? Yes, that's right. My thanks to you again, my friend. I'm in your eternal debt. And if I ask you something else? So, this post -hu in this post-human future that you're trying to bring about, what role would a drone like Korshi play? Similar one to the role that he plays now, I imagine. He was designed for a purpose, after all. That said, I can see the techniques that went into design and fabrication have much broader ranging applications. You assigned it agenda, you keep calling it him. Yes, of course, of course she is very close to me. You might accuse me of anthropomorphizing my little companion, assigning human characteristics to him where in fact there are none. Truth be told, there is much more to Korshi than meets the eye. That is a different conversation, one best suited to be held for another time. Why not talk about it now? Because I have work to do, and I'm sure you can find better use for your time than listening to me prattle on. With that, I'm afraid I must actually sh show yourself out. We can continue our talk at a later time. Good night. Shadowlands. Nothing on Shadowlands. Captain Jomo! I need a five minute Jomo. Take me to the sinking ship. Uh, guess it's me and Isabel. Sinking ship, Ho Hum Bay. Captain Jomo's converted speedboat chops through the rough water with a cleaver through chicken bones. Launching his skyboard every time the wave that it hits. The destination of the sinking ship gob its former home. The old pirate laughs and opens the throttle. Wind and rain lashes your face. The floating amalgamation of shipping containers grows larger. You see that it's stacked at least three containers deep in an elegant brick of coagulated weathered steel. Corrugated weathering steel, rather. An assortment of pontoons, boys, boy, oh fucking, boys, boyu, fucking, duh. the other flotation devices have been lashed to the base of the raft to prevent it from tipping. You don't know what's happening here, or why Gobbit felt the need to go face it alone, but one way or another, you're bad to find out. Uh, team. Let's give you that. Let's give. Me that. Let's also give me that. Actually, let's not give me that. Confirm. Game auto saved. The scramble on the side of the sinking ship was treacherous. You hold yourself up over the edge with the head. your heart hammering and your chest clawing for purchase against the wind and driving rain. Walking on the surface deck isn't much better. But still, you're standing under the sleek sheet with the water from the rainstorm that hammers down from above. Every time you shift your weight, you can feel the feet begin to slide. There are no safety rails in sight. A slip of rogue wave, it wouldn't take much to send you screaming over the edge of the raft and into the dark water below. This thing is a wreck. 
Can't believe that Gobbit ever chose to live here. Didn't expect it to be this bad. Yeah, she always told me that the lady in charge, what was her name? Melinda? Malvina. She always told me that Malvina was a control freak, all obsessed with order and cleanliness, and Camus was supposed to be a top quality repair guy. This thing look like it's in good repair to you? No, but we don't know. Sun goes to win Buffett, she's sending you sliding. Isabel drops to a crouch, clinging to the metal with gloved hands to keep herself from slipping. We should get moving, it's dangerous up here. My gear is getting soaked. Let's find them. Devil rats! Oh shit! Another swarm! Kill it! Fucking die, rat! The woman by the fire looks like she hasn't seen much of a bar of soap in weeks. Her companion didn't look much better. The face is a streak with certain grime that Rand seems to import something. Glad to see that you made it through that one in, in one piece. Please stand by the fire and get warm. Thank you for your hospitality. Of course, we don't get strang strangers here very often, and it's far too miserable to turn away a guest. Seen any strangers come through here recently? Afraid not. You're the first outsiders to visit our little raft in months. Hope oh, that doesn't keep you from staying, though. We uh, we could really use your help. But you need to help us first. Fresh my memory, did we just help peel a swarm of devil rats off them a few seconds ago? We didn't ask you to do that, we could have handled the rats on our own. Looking for a friend. Alright, describe this friend of yours to me. She's young, about my age, orcish, with a shaved scalp and dreadlocks. Have you seen her? I'm afraid not, I wish that we had, but we don't get to see many strangers here. So how about will you help us with our rat infestation? Yeah, okay. The rats have been a huge problem for us. Between the damage that they inflict and the disease they carry, they've made it impossible for us to keep our regular maintenance duties on the raft. If you follow us, we'll lead you below the decks. With your help, we'll get the ship cleaned out again. Lead the way. The hatch down below is just this way. We'll show you. Channel of fast moving water cuts across the platform, separating from the access house on the edge of the raft. Damn thing is flooded again. Again, we just fixed the pumps last week. Well, it isn't that much more treacherous than just walking on the deck is. You could probably just wade through. The floor is angled downward here, underdog. It's sloping towards the edge. You can barely keep our foot in where it's flat. Trying to cross the gap on foot would be suicide. Maybe we can find a way to drain the water. Yeah, the pump over there. Supposed to keep this part of the deck clear. 
He keeps breaking down. I swear it must be burnt through four different fuses in the past two weeks. We'll try that first. If it doesn't work, we'll have to look around for another solution. One well, that doesn't involve crossing on foot. Pump machine. Examine the pump. Uh, Isabel, can you fix this? Probably not. If it were a computer, I could probably do something with it, but I'm not that much of a mechanic. Find a replacement fuse. I can slide in for you. Anything else, and you're on your own. One box. I will take that. And I'll take that. The flood grates here look similar to the new ones by the flooding. Yeah. I think this all connect hydraulic maybe. I can see the lines running under the tips of the container. This might be a solution to our flooding problem. Assuming you can get the well spudge that is. There might be another way. My strength is too low. Hi guys. Where can we get a new fuse? Maybe there could be a new fuse up here. We tend not to throw things away like that. Check the piles. The way bits and bobs usually end up. I watch my hands if I were you though. Rats be known to hide in those piles. Maybe you've seen our friend. I doubt it. We must keep to ourselves up here. She'd be a new arrival in North. About my age. Calls herself Gobbit sooner around. Never heard of her. How about Malvina? She's still in charge. Yeah, but if you. But if you want to talk to her, you're going to have to go down below. Boss lady stays down there, by the water line. I'd stay away if I were you, though. Why? Just do yourself a favour and do as he says, girl. In fact, do us all a favour and get on that trash heap you floated in on. Promise you'll be happier if you do. I need mean, to tell me what's happening here. It's raining. That wasn't what you meant. Tell us about the devil rats. Strange things have been happening here ever since the beginning. But yeah, things have been odder than usual lately. Those damn rats are a big part of that. With other people who've been getting sick, considering packing up and moving away. I've got no place else to go. Been here for about five years now. Everyone I care about lives on this rough, so here I stay. Go then. Shove off. Search the trash. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Nothing here. Ah, rats! Fucking cinnamon. Two pee boop. Replacement fuse. Incoming. Um, what? Whoops.
Ah. Climbing below the surface. Upon descending the ladder, you find yourself in the cramped confines of a shipping container. Interior walls have been erected by corrugated aluminium, and doors have been cut to allow passage through components to components, compartment to compartment even. The air down here is ripe with the odour of rotten garbage. Sorry about the state of the place. Rats have kept our work crews too busy to worry about hauling the garbage. But now that you're here, we'll be able to set these things right. Kill all those little bastards once and for all. Any idea where they're nesting? Yeah, down below. They're breeding on the level beneath our feet. It's way down on either side of the deck. I don't like this underdog. We don't know enough about what's going on down there. What else would be going on? We're trying to hold out against devil rats that are trying to eat us. And the raft's going to hell while we're doing it. Please, you have to take us to the other side of the raft. You have to help us. You promised. Show us where we need to go. Follow us. Hey folks, I'll be damned. What the hell are you doing in here? Maybe you've seen her. No, but I haven't seen your friend. Sorry. You don't even know what your friend looks like yet. How can you say for sure you haven't seen her? No one's come down here today but you. Not us all. Didn't see anyone yesterday either. I can't remember much past then. Bad memory. Can't do a thing about it. What's behind the door? Storage closet. Nothing worthwhile in there. Don't even know why we have me standing watch over the thing. But those are the rules, right? You can't question the rules. How about this? You open the door or I'll open your skull. Think you can scare me? I've seen what's down beneath the feet. Saw it with my own eyes compared to that. You're nothing, Shadow Runner. Nothing at all. Hello local inhabitants. Strangers should pick a bad time to come visit. You're a terrible door guard. Or aren't you looking out for gun toting strangers? It isn't what I'm here for. Strangers don't concern us. She, it doesn't control any strangers. Not that we know of. It. It, the thing that controls those devil rats, makes them aggressive. Organises them. I've never seen it myself, but I've heard stories. You might want to talk to someone. Talk to the dwarf. I'm busy. I need to keep my eye open for more of those little bastards. Can't let any more of them sneak in here. Not after what happened to Simon. Best of luck. Holy shit. Hello, sick dwarf. Oh, I'm sick. Hello, stranger. Don't see many new faces on the raft these days. 
But you're here, so you want something. Now, what would that be? We're friends of Garbit Sinner around. Friend, if you're looking for Garbit, then you're about three years too late. Your friend ain't here. And you stumbled across the worst kind of place to be lost. What's wrong with this place? So from the uninvited guests, you mean? We got a rat problem. We noticed. Don't let what happened to me happen to you too. You want my advice? You get out of here and you do it before you get bit. If you don't, you might just wind up on your deathbed here, right by my side. What's your name, friend? Me? I'm nobody important. Just a man waiting to die. You haven't seen Garbit lately, have you? No. Haven't seen the girl in years. I'd love to, mind you. She was a good friend way back when. We'll leave you in peace. Yeah, you do that. If you should happen to find Garbit, bring her by. I haven't seen her for a long time. It'd do me good to talk to her again before I die of this damn disease. Shit. What is going on? It's just up this way. Through the door here. Behind you! My devil rats! Don't go in there! It's a trap! It's a trap! Down you go. What? The bloody locals tosses his gun aside and raises his pair of trembling hands. His eyes have gone wide with terror. I'm sorry, we didn't want to do it. We didn't have a choice. She she ordered us to. What it you talked about? Explain yourself. I don't know what it is. It talks with Marvina's voice, but it isn't her. If you want to live, you have to do what it says. Gonna let you live. Don't make me regret it. Hey, Iz. Hey, underdog. I don't remember inviting you on this run, but I guess I'm glad you can make it. You're welcome, by the way. Wanna tell me what the hell's going on here, Gobbit? We just shot some locals, but don't worry, they were bad people. What were you saying about a trap? Yeah, that's where they're leading you to. Didn't want to see that happen, so I came right into your rescue. You are, again, welcome. Gobbit, tell us what kind of trap you're talking about. Tell me where you end up dead. Look, I don't know what exactly they were planning to do, but I've seen them lead people through those doors before. People who I watched go in never came back out again, not a one. They'd scream and scream, and when the doors opened up, they'd be gone. Thanks for the warning. Don't mention it. So now that we're all together, do you want to tell us why you came back here all by yourself? We'd have gone with you, Gobbit. All you had to do was tell us. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I figured that this was one on me, and I didn't want to wait another minute. Besides, I had a plan. What kind of plan was that? Pretty simple one. All I wanted to do was get the lay of the land, sneak around a little, maybe find my old friends and get some answers. I didn't come here to get into a firefight. It's easy to be quite solo than it would be dragging you two around. No offence. So you scope the place out. Fine. Mission accomplished. Do you know Do you know what's going on now? Yeah, this place is fucked. I'm going to sink it. Wait, it's, what? A sinking ship is doomed, underdog. I can feel that the second I set foot on board. Earlier than that, even. On some level, I think I can feel it back home. That's why I couldn't stop thinking about this place. Whatever is happening, it's wrong. The whole place feels after me somehow. Maybe even toxic. I came to find my friends Cadmus and Marvina to check on them. Said I found a swarm of man-eating rats, a death trap, and a bunch of squatters that seem intent on killing me. So I'm going to kill them right back, and I'm going to use the scuttling charges that are embedded in the hull to do it. I've already handled the, ones, handled the ones on this level, but I haven't gone down below yet. We need to activate the charges before the water line is going to... if we're going to bring the sucker down. So that's what you're going to head next, downward? Not quite. On account of the trap, I don't know how to get past it yet. Mine is set back right, so my next step was to figure that out. Time to ask some pointing questions then. Somebody on this level must know how to get past that thing. I put money on Cadmus knowing if we could find him. He's always more of a mechanic than he was a shaman. Let's go. Hello, ship inhabitant. Well, what do we have here? Strangers on our humble raft, exploring her leaking bowels. Welcome to the sinking ship, strangers. Tell me what you want. What do you do on the raft? Bit of this, bit of that. I'm an artist, or rather, I used to be an artist and a socialite and a man about town. By town, I mean raft, of course. 
Now I mostly find myself shut away here on the sinking ship's upper deck. Been festering away here for months, desperately clinging to the finer things in life. Quite the tale of war, actually. So what you're saying is you're basically useless. I don't expect you to understand. You're a street-level operative, no? Blue-collar work. Termite to my social bus butterfly. We're different creatures, you and I. Speaking of blue-collar work, I have something here that might interest you. Would you like to see it? That depends on what it is. It's just a data pad. Nothing sinister. It's belonged to a maintenance tech that I once knew. I've no idea what happened to her. She hasn't been seen in weeks. Are you giving that to us? Why? To earn your favour, you've come to the sinking ship rather well armed, after all. I'd rather integrate myself to you to you now before you the bullets start flying. Okay, sweet. Maintenance day, but any time I wasn't using the thing anyway. Schematics on the dice are all quite arcane to me, I'm afraid. We'll leave you to your business. Wanna go this way? Hello, friend. Please, help me. Gobby, can you take care of this? Already on it. Boop. Don't know who you are, strangers, but you just saved my life. If you can ever return the favour, let me know. How did you get shot? It's part of the last mutiny attempt. Made it through that alright, but I guess it also made some enemies. Don't know who shot me, but I think it's fair bit. Someone on this boat is holding a grudge. What's your name, friend? Mary Lamb. My friends call me Sparrow. It's good to meet you, Sparrow. Better luck for me the night that I met you. If I hadn't, I think I'd have bled out by now. We'll uh, leave you to your day. Alright, but if you ever need anything else, you know where to find me. Ship Inhabitant. Hello, Ship Inhabitant. I'll be damned. Gobbit? Hello, Yasmin. It's good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Where the hell have you been all these years? On a different boat, fun funny enough. Yes, I'm a little out of the loop on what's happening here. Could you do me a solid and fill us in? Yeah, well, we're not supposed to talk about it, but I'll tell you what I know. That's what's been happening here. Well, we're all struggling to deal with the devil rat infestation. You probably knew about them. For all the rats around, there aren't many volunteers for the maintenance crew anymore. It's lonely out here. That's it. That's all I have to say. Yes, you're talking to me here. So tell me what's going on. I can't help if I don't know what's happening. Yeah, all right. The raft is cursed. I think I know what you're talking about, Yaz. I can feel it all the way back home, but tell me more. I want to hear it from you. Malvina isn't in charge here anymore. She's gone now. I think she may be dead. And whatever it is that's taking her place, it's horrible. I don't even know what it is, but it isn't human. And the worst part is it talks over the intercom using her voice. Thanks, Yaz. That helps. Believe it or not, it helps. I'll leave you to your work. Yeah, thanks. And be careful out there. Terminal. Accessing. The terminal. Here, I don't know if I have a guess. I'm right. Quarantine. It's afraid of sea. Those bloody rats have eaten us out at home. Because, um, or can't or won't use the magic to fix this, so it's only deals fallout. Had the terminal so a couple of containers. Quarantine's area sick room. Hell of an infestation. Can I count on you and your boys? Help me with this. Regular to keep it okay. Hello, sicker dwarf. Gobbit's back after all this time. Yeah, I'm sorry it's taken so long. It's good to see you again, Cad. How you feeling? Perfect, thanks for asking. I mean, I'm dying, and my home has gone to shit. We're probably going to sink into the bay, but otherwise I'm great. Welcome home, girl. Been a long time. Cab must I. Save it, I'm not mad. I'm mostly just happy to hear your voice again. It's been good. It's good to have a friend. Trap room. Yeah, me and my crew built the thing. Let me guess Marvina's orders. First thing she asked me to do after Sweet's little rebellion. We started work on the thing the week after you left. Yasmin was in charge of the project. Tell us how to get past it. No. But Yaz can. She can, should be anywhere on this level. Go find her. Tell her I sent you. We will. Thanks, Cad. Don't mention it. He's sick, Hammers. Ill? I would say so. Deathly ill. Vitus is a real bitch. Even a new sta strain like this can really knock you on your ass. You'll be okay, Cad. You're a dwarf and a shaman. That's two big points in your favour. You're going to walk this off. You'll see. Spare me the pep talk. I'm too tired to walk. Cad. Save it. I know what my chances look like and they ain't good. 
I've seen a lot of friends loaded into these cots garbage. They all went in eating garbage bags. Anyway, let's talk about something else. What's happening? Bad things, a lot of good people died. Something gone rotten on this raft garbage. You know what I, what I mean, toxic. Yeah, I can feel it too. I can feel it all the way back home. Cadmus, where are our friends? What happened to Yasmin and Anson and Marvina? Anson's dead. Never made it into the sick room, just disappeared. But I know where he went. Yasmin's still with us, small favours, right? The fight has gone out of her. She's content to do what she's told and tremble. Marvina ain't Marvina anymore. What is she? I don't know what she is. It's definitely toxic, but it's what it is. Marvina went off the rails because of that damn bauble that I gave her. That's what happened, isn't it? It ain't her gobbit, it's something else. But yeah, that shiny red egg that you and Swee lifted is the cause of it, I think. The ugliness was already inside her, but that thing brought it out. Shit. In your fault, Garbit. I know, underdog. I did what I had to do. No regrets. Pretty fucking angry about what happened afterwards. You and me both, kid. I'm as angry as I've ever been, and twice as frightened. You haven't seen what happened to Marvina and what she's become. You need rest. You should put this on hold and... Got no time to rest. You need to hear the rest. You need to hear this, what we're up against. You ever heard of a rat king? It's an old folklore thing. Bunch of rats all fused together and their tails are all wrapped and twisted into a giant great big knot. That's what Mal has become. I don't know how many different spirits she's tied to her essence too, but the last time I opened my third eye to see her, I can see where they ended and she began. What does that even mean? I've never heard of. It means that she ain't human anymore, girl. Her aura is bound to the other things, alien things, all tangled and twisted and grown together. They're all one being now, a rat king. It talks like Mother the but it ain't her anymore. So this Rat King is still human, physically speaking. Don't know. I've heard rumours that Marvina's meat body is changing too. I haven't seen it myself. Don't know if I want to. The talisman the Rat King is holding, the shiny object, do you know how it works? No, I tried to sensing it once. The thing that took away from the experience was a migraine. Felt like the Rat was but buried behind my eyes for days. All I can tell you is certain that it still works. As long as the Rat King's connected to that thing, you can't hurt it. Any holes that you put in its body will close up on its own. It's invincible. Wonderful. I didn't say that. It's the bubble that makes the Rat King what it is. So you're just going to have to find a way to steal it. Goblin managed to do it during Swee's rebellion. I bet she could do it again. Did you try to fight the Rat King? Yeah, I've had enough. A lot of us had. So we took a page from old Swee's book. We mutinied. This is where we left... This is what's left on us. I've been locked in here for five days now, waiting for Vitus to finish the job. The rest of us got fed to the rats. Another mutiny, seriously? It's better than submitting to the Rat King like everyone else. I wasn't going to serve any longer. I couldn't, not after learning what it was. Our friend is dead. Everything that was good about Marvina got eaten by the monsters she became. Fortunately, not everyone feels the same way that I did. We've got a bunch of folks on this boat, and they've all got something to lose. When push comes to shove, most of them took the side that they thought would win. Why would the others stop you from taking the ship back? That doesn't even make sense. What do you think, girl? Fear. Fear of death. Fear of being gnawed apart by a hundred vermin. Fear of that thing. They're just afraid? Scared shitless is a better way of putting it. I can't blame them. If anything, we're the crazy ones trying to fight that thing. If the Rat King soldiers only serve it because they're afraid, maybe we can turn them away from it. Could do. They might rally around someone they'd know. Maybe someone who lived and fought for him, for him years ago. That was a subtle hint, girl. Oh, I've got a better idea. We're going to get you and your people onto lifeboats, then we're sending this raft to the bottom of the, belly, uh, the bay. The Rat King is going with it. Can't mean that. This is our home. We've got nowhere else to go, Garbit. I'm not going to let this thing force us to put this raft to torch. I've already tried it your way. Look what happened. Maybe it's good that you leave this place. I've lived in a place like this before. I've seen what it can do to people. She grew up in the Bald City card. And she knows what we've got to look forward to if you sink this raft, because we sure as hell can't afford to live anywhere else. God, but listen, it's, it isn't too late for the sinking ship. Turn this thing around. A mutiny fell because the Rat King knew things that we didn't. Yours can succeed if you try. My gut says that we should sink the raft. So that from the moment I arrived here, that's what Rat wants me to do. That's what I'm going to do. I think we could retake the sinking ship. Have you forgotten the first lesson I taught you, underdog? Always go with your gut, and my gut says... Sparrow selects your garbage. Camus is right. You're going off half cocked again. Truth is, we can save this raft if we want to. If you don't tell us, and we'll sink it. You can see. 
Alright, Cad, if you're sure you can keep your end, I'll be willing to help you with this mutiny, but if your people fuck it up, I'm sinking this thing. Got it? Yeah, and thanks. With your help, we can do this. That remains to be seen. Go on, get moving, and convince as many people as you can to help us when the time comes. Whoever you don't bring to our side is going to fight against us, so be thorough about it. Are you ready to use, make a move? Trigger the shipboard, the shipboard al alarm system. Two blasts, then we'll start kicking in doors. Right, Cad, two blasts starts the mutiny, but if we sound the alarm once and leave it, get your people the hell off this raft. Got it? One blast meaning you're sinking the raft. You do that, I'm kicking your bony ass from here to Mako, but yeah, I hear you. Got all that, stranger? You know what you're supposed to do? Yes. Thanks, and God be thank you. It does me good to know that you're all here with us on this. Hello, local inhabitant. Do I need to go to the top deck to... No, I'm afraid not. I'm a loving night fighter. Don't you see that? Of course I do, but I'm no fool. But fighting the Rat King would also be a wonderful way of getting myself killed. Listen, if we can't rally enough support to let this mutiny happen, we're sinking the raft. Uh, I suppose that means I don't have much choice. Can me in. Sparrow! I want to help, I do, but I can't without supplies. I'll make you a deal. If you help me up with some medical supplies, I'll join your mutiny. As well have you got here, don't waste it. Bam. Good to hear. The quarantine area and meet up with Cadmus, so he'll know what to do. Yasmin! Yeah, that was me. I didn't want to build the thing, but I had to. But I did it to help Mavina to keep us safe. I regretted it ever since. We could really use your help, Yaz. We got to get below decks, and we need to get in one piece. Can you tell us how the trap you built? I think so. It's been a long time, but I remember what wires you need to snip to disarm the thing. The hidden access panel in the floor. You'd never find it if you didn't know where to look. Snip these wires here, and this one here, bypass the circuit, and then flip this lever. Do that, and you're done. The trap door won't trigger, and you won't get jumped into the killing pit. Killing pit? It's pretty much what you'd expect. Thanks, Yaz. Don't know how badly we needed this. We're taking the ship back, Yasmin. We need your help. Another mutiny? No, not for me. Go to someone else. I saw that what happened last time. Last time you didn't have me here. We're going to kill the monster that stole my Venus voice, Yaz. You got my word on that. Alright, Garby. I'm in. I'm terrified, but I'm in. Not a fighter. I'll keep the ship afloat, but whatever I can do, I'll help. You'll be okay, Yasmin. I promise. Circle up with your brother. I'm sending everyone who can, we can convince to help to meet up with him in the sick room. He'll tell you what you need to do from there. Okay, I guess I need to just need to talk to people on this floor. There you go, underdog. You know what to do. Let's hope he has knows the stuff. Okay, thanks. Hope I don't end up in the killing floor. Sweet. Not killed. Stepping into the room is like wedding to a killing floor of a slaughterhouse. There isn't an inch of ground that isn't capable of spilled blood. The stench that floods into your nostrils is overpowering as it is vile. The stench of rotten beef and stale vomit, of warm blood poured into a chemical toilet and left under the sun to cook. Buzzing of flies in your ears helps bring you back to your senses. I think we found where the missing squires went. Oh, you think? But I don't know, Simon. Oh, right, no, this. Sorry, Gobby, I know these people were friends. A lot of them were. Some I don't know. They all deserve better than this. I've seen this. I don't think this raft is worth saving. I should go back to my original plan, Underdog. Let's send this thing to the bottom. That's where it belongs. 
Can't do that, Gobbit. We've already told Camus that we're going to help him. We've been getting the other mutineers ready to fight, not to evacuate. Sink the thing now. We might not even get it off, make it off the boat. We'll tell them that we've changed our minds using the alarm system. We'll make it out. Trust me. We made a promise, Gobbit. I think it's a stupid idea, Underdog, but if you really want to do this, then I hope you get it done. At least that way I'll get to look the right eye in the eye when I kill it. Damn right. If we're going to do this, we need to find Marvina's old cabin. It should be west of here. Got it. I'll have to get the shiny object away from the Rat King if we want to kill it. The problem's... That's probably going to be tricky. I don't think that she'll be... Let me sort her up and take it. We do tricky things every day. We can handle this too. Of course we can. Alright, let's do this. Ah, rats! Boop. Um, okay.
That my vein is all cabin. See your power for the sinking ship. That's where the Rat King is going to be. Once we go in there, we're going to be in this. There's no change in our minds after we picked a fight with the thing. What do you say, underdog? Are we doing this or not? Let's go. What the fuck? The thing that looms over you is horrifying. A twisted amalgamation of women and swarm, not together, not and tied together into a single whole. Garbit. You have returned to us, little mouse. You and the instigator of our own ascendancy. The keystone, the source of our unity. The font of power that makes us strong. Your gift to us, little mouse. You gave us what we needed to bring this raft to order. Send me the speech, Malvina. Or whatever you are. I'm not here to talk. The new body isn't doing you any favours, by the way. You look like a furry tree stump. And your body is beauty itself. Unity of biology. And unity of purpose. I say nothing. What you are is an idiot. You saw what Swede let loose with the shiny objects and you decided to keep using it anyway. If that isn't stupid, I don't know what is. We are ordering out of chaos the death of entropy. A glorious unity. Oh, fuck this. We're here to kill this thing, not let it talk us death. Damn right! Shit, something is heading this way. What's it say? There's a shiny object, you must be feeding on the thing. Help me, rats! The breath is so noxious. Treats of godless shiny objects in her hands and its voice you can hear the echoes of a thousand inhuman beings. This is interesting. You can feel Mavina's control over the rats. It's like a thousand strings connected to her to them. It feels like... I can tug at those strings. We will rend you all to pieces, tear your flesh to shreds. Buy me a little time, underdog. 
It's an useless thing, but if you give me a minute or two, these demon rats will be mine. I can do that. Racking's body shudders and convulses as you watch the living carpet of devil rats that forms the majority of its bulk begin to writhe. Malvina opens her mouth to speak, but you'll never know what she, has, what she was going to say. The only sound that escapes from her throat is a long, ragged scream. With a dawning horror, you come to realise what you're looking at. The devil rats that are surrounding Malvina are turning inward, spinning and alive. Gubby stares, dead-eyed as a former friend, and the swarm that is bound to bound to her rips her body apart. Black blood pours in the rivets of the aluminium lined floor. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. You go if you want, I'm watching this. I owe Malvina that much. It's raft is ours, it's over. Don't know what you just did, but whatever it was, it worked. Those right things turned on Malvina's lawless. And when they were done eating them, they started eating each other. Yeah, I know, I told them that right after I did the same thing to the Rat King. Malvina's dead card. You did go, Gobbit, and you, you and your friends, we won. Come on up topside, there's a celebration in order. No cad, no celebrations, and no milling around. You can keep this place, I'm done with it. Too many bad memories, and besides all of that, you've got a hell of a mess on your hands. Be damned if I'm going to help clean it up. You've already helped us clean up, Gobbit. We'll always owe you that. Yeah, well, let's not get, make a big thing out of it. Bye, cad, and good luck. Come on, Joe is still waiting for us outside, ready to go home? Beyond ready. This stupid thing is taking a one-way trip to the bottom of the bay. Good call. Come on, then, Doug, let's go home. Though I should have sold it, I'd have made so many new yen. So many monies. Oh, what was our mission? Oh. Captain Jomo's speedboat carries you away from the sinking ship, now liberated from the tyranny of the Rat King once and for all. The shiny object rests with Malvina's bones at the bottom of the Hong Kong Bay. Gobbit says back at the raft as it recedes into the distance. Her expression is at once happy and sad. Isabel takes her hand. Together they turn away. He or he's close. Grows closer. You're going home. Come on, Shadowrun. Continue.
Come again to eight. Okay. Consume spirit. Gobby connect. Consume spirits and imbue ourselves with their power. Or, Gobby formulates a new version of Haste Ball that harnesses light magic. The world channeled haste increases friendly target by for four rounds. When cast, Gobby's accuracy is increased by 15 for four rounds. Shares cooldown with other Haste Balls. I'll take that. That sounds pretty cool. I'll take that. Red Samurai, Ball Wind. Laser Rifle. Sweet. Got some shit cell and maximum law will do. Here for tech, and by tech I mean sell you shit that I do not want. You can have that, you can have that, you can have that, you can have that, have that, you can have that. Sell! Sweet. Live long, live long the boom. Show me your services, cyberware. Okay, I need five. And I have many. Spend karma. I guess that's fair. Let's confirm that for now. Show me your services. Cyberware. Oh, I can't afford you! Oh, so annoying. Um, actually we're going to call that that, and then we'll uh, check Shadowlands at the start of the next mission where we go on a Gaichu's run. So thanks for watching guys, and peace.